I'm Kevin Schuker and this is Health Fox. It's amazing what you can find in Grand Central Station these days. We're bringing you a great interview today showing you some clothing made from hemp. But first of all, back to the studio. You can't do half my crew laughs at your rhubarb and custard verses. You rain down curses, but I'm waving your hearses driving by. Streets riding high with the beats in the sky. All stare, eyes glazed, garage burned down, the fire raised. For 40 days and in 40 ways. But through the blaze they see it fade The sea of black, the beaming heat on their faces Their figure emerges from the wastage Eyes transfixed with a piercing gaze One hand clutching his sword raised to the sky They wonder how, they wonder why The sky turns white, it all becomes clear They felt lifted from their fears Good evening, I'm Kevin Shuker and this is Health Fox. Today we've got a great show for you about a very controversial subject and that subject is hemp. Now hemp has a great history in America. It was first brought to America, uh, came through Asia and it was brought to America by the early colonial settlers. Did you know that both uh, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson were both hemp farmers? In fact, the early drafts of the Declaration of Independence were both drawn up on hemp paper. So hemp has been a traditionally used product in America. Even during the war, soldiers' uh, uniforms were made of hemp and there was an encouragement for people to grow hemp. At one time, you could even pay your taxes with hemp in this country. Hemp is still used today in certain things like oils and papers, soaps, uh, varnishes, clothing and some heating fuels. In Ireland, they're even considering changing their traditional peat bog fuel and moving to a hemp fuel. Now what is the great thing about hemp? Well, one of the amazing things about it is it's very resistant to bugs, therefore it needs no pesticides, very little uh, fertilizers and grows very easily. It has a pleasant minty smell and it can grow up to about 17 feet tall in one growing season. It is an extraordinary renewable resource. So if it's such an amazing plan, how come we're not using it? Well that's thanks to the National Drug Control Policy. Because the hemp plant looks very similar to its smokable cousin, marijuana, it led to a freezing in the growing of hemp in 1936. Recently, Canada has emerged as a great producer of hemp and is experimenting with hemp farmers. And they are licensing their farmers. Now the THC content, the, the part that gives people a high, can be no greater than 0.3% in hemp which is much lower than the 0.9% commonly found to have a psychoactive effect. Now the use of hemp has gone back perhaps 2,000 years. It was originally used to make paper and just prior to the industrial age, old clothes were ground up to make paper because those clothes were primarily made of hemp. With the Industrial Revolution and the, and the need for greater paper products, 
We moved to trees and that has caused the destruction of all primary forests here in the USA. Up until 1830, hemp was one of the most commonly traded commodities in the world, but today it only makes up about 0.5% of all pulp and paper production. However, things are beginning to change and there are now some new hemp entrepreneurs on the market coming out with oils and soaps and uh, changing our traditional ways of making things into and moving them more towards hemp based. There is new clothing, there is even a car that is driving around America that is driven and being used in uh, hemp oil. So we're beginning to awaken to this great renewable resource and today we've got a little interview for you with somebody that we met in uh, Grand Central Station who uses hemp to make beautiful clothing. So we're going to go back to Grand Central Station and let's have a look at some hemp clothing.